So you're thinking you'd like to sell your house and naturally you're wondering how much money you'll make doing so. Makes sense. But in order to calculate your profit, you'll first need to estimate your expenses. Yes, it does cost money to sell your house. I'm Karen, and if we have not yet met, I'm a realtor in the greater Seattle area. I like to share tips and tricks for home buyers and home sellers to make their journey easier. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all your comments and sharing my videos and my page. Let's take a look at an overview of some of these costs. Your first set of costs is your real estate agent's commission, assuming you're using an agent. This hovers around the five to 7% range of the sales price. So it's certainly a factor to consider. It's also worth considering what a licensed agent brings to the table for that cost. If you get a good one, that commission is more than worth it in the increased sales price you should see. In addition to the fewer headaches you'll experience, from having someone walk you through a complicated transaction. It's obviously up to you to decide whether to use a real estate agent when selling, but just know that more often than not, you usually come out ahead when you do. Next, you'll want to factor in inspections and repairs. Typically, the buyer pays for inspections when buying a home in Washington State, but a seller can do a pre-inspection. Home inspections are anywhere from $400 to $700. And repairs, well, that's on a case-by-case -case basis. You'll need to evaluate your situation and determine how much you're willing to spend to get your house ready to sell. Then you've got closing fees, which are anywhere from one to 3% of the sales price. These fees include title fees, transfer excise taxes, escrow fees, recording fees, prorated property taxes. Many of these fees and their amounts depend heavily on your specific location and circumstance. Reach out to me if you'd like a more detailed breakdown for your property. And you've got seller concessions, which can, again, vary greatly depending on your specific property, its location and what the market is doing. These concessions usually take the form of home warranties, buyer closing costs paid by the seller, or simply reductions in sales price. These costs are heavily dependent on the type of market you are selling in. If you're selling your home in a strong seller's market, there's a good chance you won't have to pay any of these concessions. And you may even get multiple offers. On the contrary, if you're selling in a buyer's market, your concessions may be more substantial. 